Saturday, November 18, 2006. Today, Pajamas Media has obtained video footage smuggled out of Moscow's Sheremetyevo airport, where an Iranian woman and her two children have been trapped for 73 days while attempting to flee the Islamic regime in Iran. We have nowhere to sleep, nowhere to rest, and nowhere to bathe. My kids have not seen the sun for 16 months, no sunlight. They haven't seen the daylight or the nighttime. Life in here is very, very hard. My kids have nowhere to take a shower to clean themselves. The water here, it's from the toilet. We drink from the toilet water. In the toilet, we fill a bucket with this water in the middle of the night, away from the eyes of the authorities, to take a bath. I have no place to wash our clothes. All doors are closed on us. All doors are closed on us, myself and daughter and son. Please let my kids experience the light of day and beauty of the night after 16 months. Let my kids breathe freedom. In here they disrespect us. Police have attacked us. They threw our belongings in the middle of the transit hall. She pushed me, a policewoman. I hit the wall and blood dripped out of my mouth. She told me, you have too much stuff. Don't sit here. Sit there. Every few nights she comes back to us for questioning. Who are you? Where are you coming from? Where are you going to? There is no humanity in here. No human rights. Nobody cares about us here. Nobody hears our scream. All doors are closed. Every door is closed to us. But my kids and I are here for 73 days now. We sleep on the cold floor. They need many things. They need the minimum of life, that they could live in freedom. I want you to come to our help. This is my son, my 12-year-old son. My son wants to study, wants to play, wants to go to school, wants to spend time with kids his own age. There is no minimum standard of life here. My son is in growing stages and he needs to take vitamins. He needs a haircut. His teeth are falling off. He pulled three of his teeth with his own hands here, without medicine. I believe, believe in the great compassionate God and believe in that definitely there are people that are real human beings and they will help my kids and I. Once again that my kids could see the sun, could see the rain. My kids are wishing for a warm bath. They have forgotten every good thing. It's very hard. I beg of you to come to our help and save us from this hell. I am not crying because I must be strong. The kids should not see my tears. I laugh to give them hope, to fight back, to endure. But now my tears are dropping because it is heartbreaking for a mother to see her kids suffer. This is the end of the world, end of the world. My daughter is ill. There are brown spots all over her body. Her teeth are falling out. She needs to see a dentist. Her toenail is infected. Her right hip is hurt because of a light warm-up. All as a result of lack of essential vitamins in her body. Her eyesight is weakening and she is in desperate need of eyeglasses. We have no comfort, no protection. I am afraid for my safety, for my daughter's safety, even for my son. Please end it. On Monday, Russian police plan to allow the Islamic Republic to arrest Zahra Kamafar and her two children to be transferred back to regime custody. For more information on Zahra's story and how you can help, please visit the Pajamas Media website at www.pajamasmedia.com.